Hello friends, welcome to Learners Courier. So in last video we saw about the basics of uh, voltage and current division rule and all about the series connection and parallel connection of networks. In this video let us see about the most important topic starting with Kirchhoff's laws. So these are the fundamental laws of electricity and in basic we have two different laws of Kirchhoff's which is KCL and KVL. KCL is Kirchhoff's current law which is based on current and KVL is Kirchhoff's voltage law based on voltage. Now let us see what is KCL and what is KVL in detail now. So these are the basic important laws that we should know to solve any problem in circuit theory. Now let us see what is KCL first. According to Kirchhoff's current law, the current flowing towards any junction point will be equal to the current flowing away from the junction point. Suppose if we consider a junction point in this way and let us consider the current flow in this direction. Let us take it as I1 and I2 which is flowing towards the junction point and the other two currents I3 and I4 which is flowing away from the junction point. So the sum of current flowing towards the junction point will be equal to flowing away from the junction point which is total current entering the junction will be equal to total current leaving the junction. So I1 plus I2 will be equal to I3 plus I4 considering this particular junction point. So this is the concept of Kirchhoff's current law. We can express it in other way which is algebraic sum of all the currents meeting at a junction is 0. So let us verify this now. So the incoming currents are I1 and I2. So I1 plus I2 which is equal to I3 plus I4 will be the Kirchhoff's current law as per the first statement. And we can write the equation in the other way which is I1 plus I2 minus I3 minus I4 is equal to 0. So our second statement is justified now which is algebraic sum of all the currents meeting at a junction point is 0. Since we have the current directions getting differed for I3 and I4, it is represented with a negative sign. So that is why it is minus I3 and minus I4. So let us take the incoming current as positive current and the outgoing current as negative. So that is the sign representation for incoming and outgoing. So for this circuit, we have I1 and I2 entering in the junction A and I3 and I4 leaving the junction A. So I1, I2 will be incoming and I3 and I4 will be in the outgoing current. So as per KCL, I1 plus I2 is equal to I3 plus I4. Or we can write it in the other way as I1 plus I2 minus I3 minus I4 is equal to 0 as per the second statement. So this KCL is based on the law of conservation of charges. So this is a very very important point when we consider KCL because whenever we consider I1 plus I2, let us consider in the other way. If I1 plus I2 is greater than I3 plus I4 which means the charges value will be getting stored in this particular junction point A which is not possible. If we take it in another way which is less than the condition then the charges will be getting dissipated which means both the things cannot happen because charges can neither be created nor be deleted. So it means that it is based on the law of conservation of charges. So this is a very very important point based on KCL. Now let us see what is Kirchhoff's voltage law. So the statement of KVL is algebraic sum of all the branch currents around any closed loop is always 0. Which is we have to consider a closed loop which means in a closed loop the branch voltage's value is all equal to 0. Let us consider this two points A and B and consider the current direction flowing from B to A. Which means whenever the current is flowing from B to A, when it is flowing across a resistance, definitely the value of current will get reduced because the work of a resistor is to oppose the flow of current. So at the junction point B, we will have a voltage 
which is higher than the value of voltage at the point A. So, the potential will be getting reduced when it is moving from the point B to A, which means the potential at point B will be greater than the potential at the point A. So, potential of B will be greater than A when current is flowing from B to A. Now, let us consider the opposite wise where the current is flowing from A to B. So, in this direction, now the potential of A will be greater than the potential B because the current direction is moving from A to B. So, A will have a greater potential that is voltage rise. Whereas, after crossing the resistor value, there will be a potential drop at the point B. So, the potential of A will be greater than B. So, whenever current flows through a resistor, voltage drop occurs. So, this is a very very important point to be considered in KVL. So, this KVL can be applied in two directions because whenever we are considering it at loop, you can take it in an either way which is either clockwise or anti-clockwise direction. Both will produce the same result. So, we can check it while solving problems. So, the rise in potential is always represented with a positive sign and drop in potential is represented with a negative sign. So, rise always means there is an increase so you can take positive and drop means there is a reduction so we can take it in a negative way. So, we can represent rise with a positive sign and drop with a negative sign. Let us consider this circuit which is a loop. We have to apply KVL in this particular loop. So, we have a voltage source and two resistors which are connected in series in this way. So, applying KVL, let us start from the voltage source. Here it is moving from minus to plus which means there is a voltage rise. So, whenever it is from negative to positive, there is an voltage rise. Rise in the sense it is represented with positive sign. So, we can take plus V. Next, whenever it is moving from plus to minus and across a resistor, there is a voltage drop. So, we have to represent it with the negative sign. So, minus. So, since we have a voltage drop here, we doesn't know the value of voltage. So, it is represented with a minus sign and V is equal to IR. So, you can write either in terms of voltage. When the voltage value is not known, we can represent it as a product of current and resistor. So, the current flowing is I and the resistance value is R1. So, we can take it as I into R1. And since there is a voltage drop, we are representing it with a negative sign. So, minus IR1. Next, the second term which is flowing across the Second resistor R2 again from plus to minus which means there is a voltage drop. So, we have to indicate it with a negative sign. So, minus the current flowing across this resistor is the same current. So, I and the resistance value is R2. So, I into R2 which is equal to 0. So, we don't have any other branch elements. Since we have got only 3 elements, we have got the 3 values in this way. Now, minimizing this equation, you can write it as B is equal to I into R1 plus R2. KCL and KVL has a very important point that is KCL depends on law of conservation of charges whereas KVL depends on conservation of energy. This is a very very important point because in many competitive exams, the theoretical question will be based on this KVL and KCL. So, current is depending on charge and voltage is depending on energy because we have justified how the conservation of charge is working on KCL. Likewise, it is based on the conservation of energy for KVL. So, KVL depends on conservation of energy. This is a very important point regarding KCL and KVL because many questions are asked based on this particular single statement in many competitive exams. Let us solve example now. Find the current I in circuit. This question is from SSC JE 2023 question paper given as a circuit. So, in this we have to find the value of current flowing in this particular circuit. So, we can apply the loss whatever we have seen now in this particular circuit. 
and identify the value of current and the current direction is flowing in this way. So let us apply KVL to the closed loop here starting with the 20 volt as the initial source. So here we have plus here it is minus since it is flowing from minus to plus the current direction is in this way. So minus to plus in the sense we will have a voltage rise voltage rise so we are representing it with a positive sign and the value of voltage is 20 so plus 20 and the next branch element is resistor so it is flowing in this direction and the polarity is plus and minus so here the voltage value is not known so we can write it in the value of i into r so plus to minus in the sense we have a negative sign and i into r i is not known r value is 10 so i into 10 and the next value is across this voltage source here it is going from positive to negative which means there is a voltage drop so we have to represent it with a negative sign so minus and the value of voltage is 30 so minus 30 which is equal to 0 so this is how we have to apply kvl so 20 minus 10 i minus 30 is equal to 0. So minus 10 i minus 10 is equal to 0 from which minus 10 i is equal to 10. So i is equal to minus 1 amps. So this is the current flowing through the circuit. This is how we have to apply KVL for a given circuit and solve problems based on this Kirchhoff's voltage law. So second example, calculate the value of i for a given circuit. So this question is also asked under FSEJE for 2023. Now let us apply KVL. So it is starting from minus 2 plus. Since it is a voltage rise, we can represent it as plus 30 volt. And across here, it is from plus to minus. So we have a drop. So minus value of voltage is 50. So minus 50. Again from plus to minus. So there is an voltage drop. So the value of voltage is minus 10. Across this 10 ohms resistor from plus to minus means we have a voltage drop. So minus the current flowing across this resistor is I. So I into R value is 10. So I into 10. Next across Next across this branch we don't have any element. Next across this 30 ohms resistor from plus to minus. So there is a voltage drop. So minus current flowing is I and the value of resistance is 30. So we have 30 I which is equal to 0. Now let us solve it further. So 30 minus 50 minus 10 minus 10 I minus 30 I is equal to 0. Simplifying it further we will get minus 30 minus 40 i is equal to 0 from which the value of current will be minus 3 by 4 which is equal to minus 0 0.75 amperes. So this is the value of current for the given circuit. So this is how we have to apply KVL. Third question, this is from gate 2010, calculate the power supplied by the voltage source in the given circuit. So here we have a circuit where we have to calculate the power supplied by the voltage source which is the 10 volt. Now we can apply KVL and KCL both the loss over here so we can understand the KVL and KCL loss better. So we have a junction here. So consider this junction where the current is flowing in this direction with a value of 1 amperes and again here we have one more incoming current with a value of 2 amps since incoming is equal to outgoing which means current entering in this junction is equal to leaving. So if we consider this node so applying this junction, incoming currents are 1 and 2 amps. So 1 plus 2 which is equal to outgoing current. Outgoing current is not known. But to satisfy KCL, we should get the value of 3 amperes flowing across the other branch. 
So here we have the current value as 3 amperes. Next, at this junction point, again applying KCL, we have the current flowing is I and in this branch we have 3. So, outgoing should be I plus 3 as per KCL. So, in one branch we have got I, in the other branch we have got 3 amperes which is equal to I plus 3 in the outgoing branch which is I plus 3. So, this I plus 3 current will be flowing across this resistor and the same will be flowing across this resistor also. Let us consider this particular junction point. So, here we have got I plus 3 as the current flowing and here we have got 1 amperes of current flowing through here. So, here it should be to satisfy the KCL I plus 3 is equal to outgoing current which is in one branch we have got 1 ampere so 1 so remaining has to be I plus 2 to satisfy this KCL equation so the other branch will have I plus 2 current flowing across the resistor. So here we have got I plus 2 which is flowing here and the same current will flow in this branch also. Now let us consider this junction point where Applying the same KCL, I plus 2 which is equal to, here we have got 2 amperes of current. So, here it should be I as the current value to satisfy the KCL equation. So, 2 plus I will match here which means the current I is flowing across this particular branch. So, now we have calculated the current value in each branch. Now let us apply KVL to the outer loop. So we have to consider this outer loop only because we have to calculate the current across power supplied across the power supplied by the voltage source 10 amp which is in the outer loop. So starting with this particular thing minus 2 plus in the sense we have got voltage rise so plus 10 volt. Again through this particular 1 ohms resistor there will be a voltage drop since it is flowing from plus to minus. So, minus the current flowing across this particular resistor is I plus 3 and the resistor value is 1. So, 1 into I plus 3. So, I plus 3 into 1 ohms resistor. Next, through this 1 ohms resistor, the same I plus 3 is flowing. So, since it is plus 2 minus, we have minus I plus 3 into 1 ohms. Next, through this 1 ohms resistor, again voltage drop since it is flowing from positive to negative. So, minus current values I plus 2 flowing through this resistor into 1 ohms resistor. Next, through this resistor, we have minus I plus 2 and the resistor value is, sorry it is 1 here, so into 1 and we don't have any other branch elements, so this will be equated to 0. Now let us simplify it, so 10 minus I minus 3 minus I minus 3 minus I minus 2 minus I minus 2 is equal to 0. Now let us simplify it further. So, on solving it, 10 minus 3 will be 7, 7 minus 3 will be 4. Here we have got minus 2 and minus 2. So, plus 4 and minus 4 will get cancelled. And the remaining thing will be minus 4i which is equal to 0. Which means i is equal to 0 amperes. So, the question asked is for the power supplied by the voltage source which is equal to product of voltage and current. So, the voltage value is 10 volt. So, 10 volt into the current flowing is 0 which means 0 since it is power it is watts. So, 0 watts is the answer for this particular question. So, this is how we have to apply KCL and KVL for the given circuit. In case if you have any doubts you can post it out in the comment section. Thank you so much friends.